rising to all my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel so we're going to get some messages and this will be for sagittarius okay sun moon rising and venus only take the messages that resonate for you you can know intuitively if the messages are for you so this is for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus spirit guides ancestors of the highest white light what messages do you have for sagittarius please and thank you so we have go the distance number 47 okay so spirit wants you guys to go the distance so whatever it is that you've been holding yourself back from or feeling like it's not the right thing to do spirit is saying go for it okay and then we have community who so someone could be wanting to come towards you Okay, but community is what could be stopping this person or holding this person back from coming towards you. Okay, it is. Yeah, we have co-create unfinished business. So someone feel like they have unfinished business with you, towards you, about you. Okay, and they're wanting to go the distance. If you guys have been feeling like you shouldn't make this move or it's not going to be worthwhile, for the saying just go for it, Okay. Maybe you could be worried or focused on what the community might say or how they will view the situation. Okay, because in the past, it could have been very chaotic, Sagittarius. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius for it? Or maybe you might be worried about what the community might view you as or what the community might say. Okay? But the people in your community or environment shouldn't worry about what you choose or feel is best for you because if that's what you want to do, then do it. Okay? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Cups, King of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Emperor. Okay, Sagittarius. So this person have love, emotions, and feelings for you, but you keep being cold and nonchalant and like distant from this person. Like you keep cutting this person off, Sagittarius. Okay. So that's why Spirit is saying just go the distance, like give it a chance is what I'm getting. Okay, you could be worried about what the community or the people in your environment is going to say. Because this King of Cups is like, Maybe you could be having a lot of mood swings or just very moody, or this King of Cups can be very moody. Okay? King of Cups, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So this person could be having a lot of mood swings right now with this King of Cups, Three of Swords. It's like this person could be like deceiving their self about what their emotions and feelings are and what they want to give or do towards you. Okay? It's definitely this Emperor. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords. So this emperor is more so like a family man, someone that provides, someone that is all, they're, they're for the cause. That's what I heard. They're all for the cause, okay? This emperor, Aries energy, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. You make this person happy. Like, this person just wants to be happy. Like, they just want a happy life, happy wife, happy family type shit. It's what I'm getting. It's like this person wants to build the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands with you, but you're closing this person out. Queen of Swords, you're going cold. Or you're just not with the fuck shit is what I'm getting. Because this person has a lot of love and emotions for you. Okay, three is swords. This person, because you're acting cold, distant, and nonchalant to the, towards this person, like you're just not with the fuck shit, Sagittarius, it's kind of like making this person moves be all over the place. Like they're mood swings with the three of swords. Yeah, mending and soulmates. So this person wants to mend this connection with you. That's all they dream, imagine, and ponder on all day like they're imagining if 
y'all reconcile, come back together, how will the foundation be? Okay, how would the relationship go? All right. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is wanting to express their love, emotions, and feelings for you. This person is now going to give into the relationship with this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Give me more of this Three of Swords energy. What's this Three of Swords? What's this Three of Swords in reverse with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? And Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with Sagittarius. What's this Three of Swords for a of Three of Swords? The Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone is just like, their emotions is all over the place. Like, they're just emotionally all over the place. That's why I said, like, their mood swings, they're very moody right now at the time. Or this could be you, Sagittarius, that's moody towards this person that's trying to offer you their love towards you, okay? Because they see the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands with you. They see emotional fulfillment, okay? They see a, a, a marriage. They see a commitment, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it's a lot of love, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. Okay, this person is standing in their Emperor energy, but you're just Queen of Swords towards this person. Yeah, Four of Swords. Like you, whatever communication y'all have is very short and brief is what I'm getting with this Four of Swords. Like you just cut that shit off. Like you in Queen of Swords mode when it comes to this person, Sagittarius. But this person is hoping that they can mend this relationship because that's all they dream and imagine about. Imagine it. Imagine. Okay, I can't even get it out. This person, look, and then we got the Emperor. The Five of Wands, the Hermit, the Two of Cups, the Star, Eight of Wands. Okay, this is too much. So, like, this is your divine counterpart. It's just your soul towards this person. Like, you don't trust this person, is what I'm getting through his fools. And I don't blame you. Okay? Because if someone put you through hell and back, why would you want to put yourself back in that situation? I know they say people can change and people can heal and people can do this, that, that, and the third. But it's like, what damage has already been done in a certain situation? It's like, why even waste your time? Why even go back to something? I don't know. Like, everybody got their own point of view. Everybody got their own perspective on it. But I don't know. Like, for me, for how I would do it, because this is me. I'm not pushing it on nobody else. Y'all do whatever it is that y'all want to do because y'all have every free right and will to do so. But far as me, from my perspective, like, if it's so much damage been done, I've been through hell and back with you. And it's like, from my eyes, I don't see no change or no difference because, I don't know, maybe this person is changing. They're working on their self. They're, they're trying to grow and become the best version of themselves. But it's like, you just can't get those memories that you had that wasn't so good out of your head. Like, you just can't. I know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like, you can heal from a situation and move on from somebody, but that don't necessarily... And you can forgive them, but that don't mean that you have to go back to them. But once again, you have every right to do whatever it is you feel is best for you. Okay? If... You feel as though still working on something that caused so much drama, pain, tra so much trauma, pain, and hurt. And you know that you done had to go through so much to heal from it. It's like, why turn back the hands of time to go back into something that you're going to still have to heal from? 9-11 was just on the clock. Like, I don't understand. Okay? Yeah, people can change and people can do better or whatever the case may be. But just from me, from my point of view... I just can't see it. Because I, like, I always been the type of person that's like, don't go back to my exes. Like, I might still be in communication with you guys. Okay, check up on you, how you been. Hope everything is good. Love is love. Cool. But it's to the point to where it's still, I just can't see myself trying to work on something that was very traumatic to me. Okay, but everybody has their own point of view. But anyway, Sagittarius, let's keep going. Give me more messages, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Sagittarius. 
like that ace of wands like this person has a lot of sexual chemistry and passion towards you like this person is i'm here yearning for you okay yeah but ten of swords in the death card you completely ended it like it's over it's done it's like no second chances with this person because this person was very immature. Page of Pentacles in reverse. We're going to see what that page of Pentacles in reverse. But you're ended it. You ended it. And you felt like it was too much confusion when it came to working on this commitment. Like building a long-term, stable foundation with this person. Like, it was just too many games, too many confusions, too many lies. Okay? That this person was playing. But... Their love and emotions for you didn't die out. It never went nowhere. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. They still have a lot of passion and chemistry for you. Ace of Wands. Okay? And this person is hoping that they can come in and give you a solid offer or a commitment. So, this is what this person is hoping. Okay? Give me more spirit. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Yes, yeah, seven of pentacles in the cherry card. This person is. It's like all this person think about all day is moving forward with you. It's moving this connection to something different, something better. Like they just want to move forward. They just want to move this connection to a better space. But this is your divine counterpart, the Empress and the Empress Sagittarius. Okay? It's just you're just cold towards this person queen of swords you're just not with the fuck shit you don't have time for the fuck shit knight of pentacles yeah this person is hoping that y'all can move towards a commitment knight of pentacles something that's very stable and solid because it goes to the ace of pentacles because this person still has a lot of chemistry towards you ace of wands a lot of passion okay this person could also be watching your photos, pictures, and videos and masturbating with, front, with your photos and pictures. Ace of Wands. Okay? This person could also be exhausted. Like, they need to get more rest and meditate. Like, they need to rest and do more meditation. Okay? Because this person is trying to heal as well with the Three of Swords, but they're just moody. They're all over the place. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me more for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Five of Wands. So you could feel like this person <laughs> been putting you in competition or that you're going to be in competition or it's just going to be a lot of fights, arguments, disputes, and conversation. Yeah, now we got the King to the Queen of Swords. Okay. All right, so now I'm getting two scenarios. Seven of Cups. If you was dealing with a masculine energy, okay, and they made you as an option, they made you as a choice, like they was just stringing you along for the meantime and between time because whatever they was in, they was trying to heal. So say, for instance, if your person was dealing with a karmic and they went back to the karmic to heal a relationship with the karmic, okay, but their mood swings is all over the place because they actually see you as who they want to invest in and move forward with and commit to. But because they chose to go back and work on something with someone or something else is not working out. The five of wands and the king of swords. So it could be this masculine that's going at it with a queen of swords. But their mood swings is all over the place. Because they stopped and cut off all forms of communication with you for as well. It's like, it's like, it's short and brief. It's cut off. Because you're out here. You're the empress. And then it's divine masculine. So they want emotional fulfillment with you. They see the ten of cups and the four, four of wands with you. But it's like a situation that they're in dealing with a lot of chaos and conflict. That's why we had the chaos and conflict at the bottom of the deck. But I had already shuffled the cards. So it's like this person is trying to mend a connection. It's coming to me now, Sagittarius. Just bear with me. So this person is trying to mend a connection with someone that they was already in a foundation with. Had a family with and a marriage. But it's very cold. King to the Queen of Swords. 
five of wands. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of disputes, a lot of disagreements, confrontation. This person was very immature towards you when it comes to communicating. Now it's making sense. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And this person moves swings is all over the place because they want this ace of cups, ace of pentacles, and ace of wands with you. But they abruptly deaded it. They ended the connection with you to make amends with something that they were all, that they went back to in the past, is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person was operating out of their pride and ego. That's why they chose to keep you as an option seven of cups. Because this person was thinking that the more that they have you procrastinating and that they prolong on the situation, that you would be at a standstill and you would sit and wait on this person. That's what this four of swords is. Like, you would be stuck. Like, you would just be waiting and waiting. Like, you would just be sitting there. That's what this person wanted you to do, Sagittarius. Why they try to mend and work and reconcile on something from their past. Or someone that they was married to. But they have an imagination about you. Like their imagination is running wild when it comes to you. Seven of Cups again. Because they want to commit to you. But this person that's done procrastinated on it so long. And they figured out that you, they feel like that you have moved on to another commitment as well, Sagittarius. Okay? Yeah, the will of fortune, the world, and judgment. Like. Whatever choice or decision is masculine or feminine energy made, whether it's to go back to somebody from their past and try to work on something that was already dead and gone because of so much lies and betrayal, tennis sword, okay? It's like the world, I said the world, fate done changed. And I seen fate too as well. Like they done changed their own fate. Excuse me, that's a spiritual belch. Like, they done changed their own fate. Okay, because spirit has brought your divine counterpart to you, Sagittarius. Okay, whether I'm talking to masculine or feminine energy, but you chose to double back or stay in something that was very toxic. My ear on fire. Full of confusion. some more for Sagittarius some more right yeah the devil and temperance it's like hmm so we have Scorpio Aries Libra Gemini Libra and Aquarius Cancer Okay, so you were supposed to take a journey. Let's see, Temperance, Knight of Wands, the Lovers. So because you could, like, you wasn't patient to wait on divine time and the divine inter intervention, you rushed back with the Knight of Wands to a lover from your past to work on things. Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, which led to a disappointment. You was in a rush and in a hurry to go back to something because you couldn't wait on divine timing. Is what I'm getting. With the temperance, the knight of wands, the lovers, the eight of pentacles, the six of cups, the king of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. You got disappointed. And now you're being blocked out with the seven of wands. Okay. And then over here we got the devil, the six of pentacles, the six of wands, the nine of wands, the eight of swords, and the nine of pentacles. Maybe you could have felt like that this single energy or this person that you were supposed to go towards was codependent or you thought that they was just trying to use you. Like, they were trying to find a way to... I don't know what this person thought, Sagittarius. Because this person was doing a lot of thinking with the Seven of Pentacles. Like, they was just thinking a lot. Like, their imagination was running wild when it came to you. Like, I guess this person... Didn't want to feel because this person know you're in the spotlight. This person know that you get attention with the six of pentacles. I mean, with the six of wands, and then on top of that, with the six of pentacles, this person knows that you will give into the situation. But overall, this person was going to come in and just breadcrumb you. Is what I'm getting.
So it was like this person was a whole dis distraction. Okay, so you take it where it resonates. Either this feminine went back to somebody from their past, okay, and it was all a distraction. Or this masculine went back to somebody from their past to distract them from their past, okay? Because, some, yeah, the three of wands in reverse. Like, that's going back to the past and now wanting to come back and do things right. Because they... they ch Okay, Sagittarius. Give me more spirit guys. Sun, moon, rising. And Venus. This is your energy, Sagittarius. The temperance card. Like, you're very much balanced. Okay? You're protected. This person is still manifesting the relationship with you. But they're coming in as the page of cups. Like, they're coming in maybe with some type of sweet gesture or some sweet offer. Okay? Just to say something to brighten things back up within the connection of sun and the nine of cups. It's like this person is going to try to reach out to you just to get whatever it is that they want out of the situation. So it's like this person could be a tricky magician. 2111, I just seen on the clock. So it's like this person know how to cloak and hide themselves is what I'm getting. And they do it very well. And it's the only keep you at a standstill, full swords, to keep you resting and, and, and wanting to be with this person. Yeah, the queen of cups, the lovers, the food, the eight of wands, ten of pentacles. This person sees a legacy with you and wants to move forward, take this leap of faith and go towards you because they're madly in love with you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, Gemini.